so for this piano tutorial we'll be learning the song O Come to the Altar by Elevation Worship in the key of B major and I'll basically play through the song giving you guys different substitutions on passing chords that you can use here and there not only for this song but any other song with similar progressions obviously and I'll play through the whole song now to give you a better idea and you'll notice that I'll play in some parts the melody of the song and in some parts I'll just play the chords and you might have to sing the song in your head to be able to keep up right so B major Alright, so I hope you got an idea of what we'll be trying to learn in this tutorial. So this song starts off with a very simple progression starting on the one. So it starts off, are you hurt? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you hurting and broken within? So it's a one to a four and back to a one. The, the voicings or the inversions or extensions that I'm using for these chords are trying to um, accent the melody of the song. So the melody goes. Right. So this this note right here is sort of the, the common note in between the chords. So for B major, I'm just playing a regular B major chord before the four. I'm playing this inversion which meshes well with the melody but it also sounds good as a standalone chord it's an E major ninth chord and again there's um, very small things that we can do like a small passing chord from the three to the four very easy to do that three is technically a one over three but in in church in the church setting we call the three just a three or the one over three just a three all right so are you hurting and broken within there's different voicings that we can also do for the four something like this Right? A E six nine. That six nine voicing also very popular in that gospel jazz type of sound. Or something like this as well. A E major nine thirteen. Alright. And then it goes to a six chord. And here, very popular as well, this movement. Something that we hear in many songs, either on the six or on the two. But in this case, it's a six. 
that's one of the movements that we can do we can also do something like um sorry um something like this and it's basically a melodic line a melodic line from the one the three and the eight and then we land on a five over six so this is the five and then this is the six and i i take out or i omit this b so that breathes more all right so once again right and you can even resolve this chord to a a flat minor or minor nine with this voicing something like that all right jesus is calling and in this part right here, um, I think I heard it from a version by Israel Houghton. And I try to, um, I guess, resemble that version by doing this and this part. And Jesus is calling. So, um, Jesus is calling. And we're basically walking up with three chords. A two, a four then a six and all of these chords what they have in common is that they basically serve as a substitution for one another so this chord can be substituted in mostly any case for any four chord as well as this one this is a six chord but it's technically a four over six so what i did here is um jesus is called and then we're back to the one right for that second verse and here as you heard a different approach to that six chord that minor six what i did here it's a very um popular passing chord it's a diminished chord right behind or right before the six and an easy way to figure out how to build this chord is i know that that my destination chord is that six or a flat minor so i go one half step down and i form a diminished chord or diminished seventh and it's very easy to form and you can be creative with it as well you can split it up so basically just go three notes up and just keep going three notes up and you can go throughout the whole piano building this chord right and you can split it up as i said you can omit some notes and that's what i did here i just played it this way and then resolve on that six chord all right so jesus is calling all right, and now we go into the chorus of the song where it says, Oh, come to the altar. And that's a one, two, six, and then a four. Very easy progression. And as you heard, I included that same diminished chord right behind the six. That's the good thing about these passing chords is that they tend to work anywhere um, that has a similar type of progression or similar chord um, structure. Right? So let's see what we can do for this part of the song. So, oh, come to the altar. So here I'm playing voicings um, either minor 7th or minor 9th. So for B, I keep it regular, simple. Oh, come to... Then a minor 9th voicing for the 2. The altar. Then a minor 9th voicing for the 6 as well. And then something that I do for the 4 is play around with like a tension chord and then a released chord 
So for the tension chord, what I do is play a five over four. Right, so the five is a F sharp and any voicing, right? So, and then the four is basically my bass note on an E. And then I resolve, so. Passing chord six, five, four, one. Again, that movement on the two this time. And again, here we can include some tritones, something like this, right before the six. Again, another passing chord um, right before the six. As you can see, there's many different possibilities or different bridges that you can do right before landing on a chord. Here, what I did was this chord right here. It's an altered chord in E flat, which is the secondary dominant of that six. So it's an easy way of landing, or it's an easy um, it's an easy pick for for a passing chord. Sorry. So E flat seven sharp nine sharp five. But sometimes that may be a little bit difficult to remember, like all of these notes. So what I do is I think about it a simple way. I'm playing the three major, then the dominant seventh, and then I basically play a one chord on my right hand. So... And then I land on the six. And in this case, the voicing for the six is a five over six. So five over six minor. Very easy to remember if you think about it in that way. That's a good idea also when you learn different chords. So try to develop your own system, whichever way is easiest to remember. Instead of thinking about what's the third of this chord, the minor seventh of this chord, the the ninth and things like that. It's easier just to think about them in terms of chords. So I'm playing one chord on my left hand and one chord on my right hand. All right. So in this part, um, oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. We can do that transition back into the one i just thought about it right now it's basically going up the major scale starting from the four so we play a four five six the six voicing is a four over six so four over six then a five over seven and then we're back on the one it's a different variation of the same thing so a little bit different than what we did before all right so different ideas that you can implement to this song now let's move on to the the bridge i think it's called it's basically where it says um oh what a savior so the the chords for the song um for this part of the song the progression is one one six four and then we're back to a one very easy progression and we can be creative in this progression since we only have like three chords so let's see what we come up with right here what i did was start on the four instead of the one so sort of a, a pedal point type four. What that means is that I'm keeping my bass on the one while playing a four on my right hand. And then we resolve it into a regular one chord. So four over one and then one over one. Here I did another transition right before the six. I basically went down to the seven before the seven 
I played sort of a dissonant type of chord. This chord. And what I'm trying to do here is play um, sort of a, as if it was a diminished chord. Right? But I'm omitting these two notes. And just playing a 5 on my right hand. So... And then we're back onto the 6. So... Sorry about that. And right before the four, um, I want to use sort of a flat seven sound. So an A major type of sound mixed in with a one. So what I did here is something like this. So we're on the six. We can play a chord like this. It's sort of a F sharp minor sound, but there's a better one. We can even do something like this. Just a B7, a B dominant sound. And right before we land on the four. So dominant sound and then a four. And we can even redo that progression that we did before two four six and then we're back on the one so I'll, I'll play through this part of the song that way if you um see another idea that you want to learn you can slow down the video and capture that moment So that, that five chord, I just want to show you guys real quick before I end the video. This is another passing chord right before the four. So I did six, five, and again, it has that B dominant type of sound. So it works right before the four chord. All right. So I hope this video serves as a blessing to you. If you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe and leave a like in the video. That really helps out the video. Share, them, um, share it amongst your friends, whichever musicians that might benefit from this video. I also have different links down below. One for the software and one for the gear that I use to create these videos. And those are affiliated, so they help me out. All right. So God bless.